Good morning, Arizona. Welcome to day five. Right out here in front of the Grand Canyon. Whew, it's cold. We had to come see the Grand Canyon one more time before we go to Sedona. And we found a really nice lookout point right over here. Look at that. Unbelievable view. It's super cold right now. It's colder here than it is in Toronto right now. Like a painting. Let's just take a second with no music or anything and just appreciate this view. We don't want to stay here all day because now we're going to Sedona and I've never been there so let's go explore that. But I hope it's a little bit warmer there than here. In three quarters of a mile, arrive at Raising Cane's Chicken Fingers. We've been driving for about an hour and a half. We made it to Flagstaff, Arizona and we're going to try Raising Cane's. I've never had this place before. Arizona has a lot of fast food places that I'm going to check off the bucket list that I need to try. Everyone's been telling me to. So, first one, Raisin Cane's, Chicken Fingers. So this is what you get with the combo. You got crinkle cut fries, Texas toast, nice and thick, and three chicken strips, and the Raisin Cane sauce. If you want an extra sauce, it's 30 cents. This is a really good sauce too. I'll take this over Blue Ribbon in Las Vegas any day. So everything was very tasty. I would 100% come back if I see one around. That was a successful little pit stop. Very good raising canes. And now we're going to Sedona, which is about 40 minutes away. If you're coming from the Grand Canyon, going to Phoenix or Sedona or whatever, this area in Flagstaff is actually pretty good because there are so many different food options. Good pit stop. Because I'm so fat, I got a little bacon burger too. Freddy's Steak Burger. Chocolate brownie, let's see how it is. Let's see if it's like Shake Shack's custard. No, Shake Shack is way better. This is almost like a milkshake. This is about a half an hour away from Sedona now. We are right at the visitor center. It says you are here. Let's go and get some information. So Snoopy Rock is that way, Bell Rock, Ant Hill. So anywhere you really go is beautiful. Like every corner you turn, there's a view. Like look, turn around, beautiful. Turn around, maybe not so much there, but over here, <laughs> it's so nice. Look at that. So we got the information we needed. It's gonna be hard to show you with all the sun, but we're right over here. So we came from up here. That's the information booth. And then we're gonna follow this road over here, he said. Go down here, go here, go up here. <laughs> okay, I don't know if that makes any sense. Anyway, you'll see it in real life in a second. Now we're gonna do a little scenic drive at Upper Red Rock Loop. It takes about 25 minutes to go around the whole loop. So we're just gonna start with that. We're gonna walk up this little hill and hopefully there's a nice view up there. On camera it doesn't show what it's really like to be here. It looks like the same thing over and over for you but it's actually incredible. This is the second area where he told us to go. The first one I would skip it. This drive is a lot better because you got the mountains all around you. Love it. Sedona is nice. So we are here at Enchantment. This is a very, very expensive resort. The only thing we can actually do right now is go to the restaurant, I guess. So we're just gonna go check it out. We're not really gonna eat anything, but he said it's like 5,000 to up to like 10,000 a night here. So I don't even know where the actual hotel or resort is. Enchantment Resort. There's not really too much we can do here, so let's go back on the road. <laughs> Quick stop here. Just so you know where we are, so there's Fake Canyon, and we started right over here. So we drove over here, did this loop over here. I would skip this loop. I would drive through here, it's a lot better. 
So everything we're doing so far is actually really quick stops. We're not staying too long. We're trying to see as much as we can in a few hours because then we gotta go to Phoenix. So this hike, he says, about half an hour to an hour. So let's check it out, walk a little bit. We won't do the whole thing. And he says it's pretty easy, you can do it with running shoes. Okay, so we're not really prepared for this. And don't wear new shoes because they're gonna get all sandy. <laughs> uh oh. Look at these shoes, they're destroyed now. So we didn't really plan for this hike, but... So pretty much if you want to hike this, it's like an hour just like this, flat, very easy. We're actually not going to do the whole hike, we just kind of want to see how it is. It's an option if you want to come hike, a light hike. There's so many other hiking places you can do, different trails. Okay, so I think this right here is Snoopy Rock. It's supposed to be him lying down. I could be wrong though. So after driving around Sedona for a couple hours, I'm going to be completely honest with you. You don't have to drive that much, unless you want to go hiking. Right where we started at the visitor center, so now we're going to walk around the village. But you have, an, you have a beautiful view right in front, right over here. So, here is the visitor center, and here is the view. <laughs> like, I don't know. Some people are going to say, oh, it's all the same. I guess. It's cool. I really like Sedona. We're just about to leave Sedona in a little bit. Just gonna get one more view out over here and then we're gonna head to Phoenix. It's about a two hour drive to where we're going. I highly recommend checking out Sedona. No? The guy said we have to check out the Chapel of the Holy Cross, which is right up there. I recommend coming up to the Chapel of the Holy Cross for a really good view. So like I said earlier, skip all that driving, just come up here. I'm really glad we took the extra few minutes to stop here and went up here because in my opinion, this is the best view we got all day. So now, officially, we're going to Phoenix. So let's get this two hour drive over with. We're on our way to our hotel, which is about another 10, 15 minutes away. But first, it's food time. I gotta get some Olive Garden. I've never had this before. You get unlimited breadsticks with every entree and salad. I got the taste of Italy, so I got the chicken parm, the pasta, and the lasagna, and I asked for extra cheese on top, and of course the unlimited breadsticks. Very wannabe Italian food. <laughs> but the breadsticks are amazing, I'll tell you that. Everything is just very average, but that's okay. Well, I'm not that picky, so I'm gonna finish this whole thing. Okay, nothing too special, but the breadsticks were really good. And the weather here is nice. It's not hot, it's a little cooler, but it's comfortable. No wind, it's comfortable. Keep left to Arizona to Looks pretty cool. We are staying at the Double Tree by Hilton Phoenix, and at check-in, you get free cookies. That's always a bonus when you get some cookies at check-in. So yeah, we're here for the next couple of nights and this is our last stop of the trip. So you walk in, you got the couch, you got TV, little kitchen, table, desk, whatever, microwave, fridge, okay, the bathroom, Nice shower, and here's the bedroom. Okay, not bad actually. It's looking pretty good, another TV over there. Tomorrow, we're gonna wake up and explore the rest of Arizona. Thank you for watching today, and I'll see you tomorrow. Good night.